Megami Tensei, otherwise known as Megaton, is one of the few JRPG series that appeared in the 1980s and is definitely a standout amongst other series in the genre. Shin Megami Tensei has a bunch of my favorite games of all time, whether it's Digital Devil Saga, Devil Survivor, or my favorite mainline game, Shin Megami Tensei 4. SMT4 is a very special game for me, I replayed it over 8 times at this point and I can't get enough of it. So needless to say that in January of 2017, when a new SMT game was officially announced to be in development during the first ever Nintendo Switch press conference, I was ecstatic. Beautiful 3D models of demons, an intriguing team playing in the background, and HD visuals. That was mind blowing to me. It's only in November of 2017, during the Chaos Side concert for the 25th anniversary of SMT, that we finally got a second trailer for the game, which was then revealed to be the fifth installment in the SMT series, Shin Megami Tensei V. It was extremely hard to be patient for this next release, but we had to, since the next trailer was shown in July of 2020 during the first ever Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. A new look at the protagonist, the old Lucifer design is back, fantastic music, and of course, the cherry on top, a 2021 worldwide release date. Everyone in the community was astonished, myself included. And then, it took Alice another year of silence before they finally unveiled the whole game to the public during Nintendo's Direct conference at E3 2021. A banger soundtrack, a bunch of gameplay, and a better look at the characters and story with a release date of November 12, 2021. Today, I am thrilled to review Shin Megami Tensei 5 for you guys. Special thanks to Atlas West for providing me with a review copy and to Elite Adam Kuhn for the amazing piece that is my thumbnail for this very special video of mine. Make sure to check out Adam for more fantastic Megaton art, link is in the description below. This video is a spoilers free review for Shin Megami Tensei 5. Let's get into it. SMT games are always great in terms of music and gameplay, and this fifth installment is no different. In terms of story though, some are evidently more in-depth than others, and to me, Shin Megami Tensei V is a standout in this series. You play as a Juhin Academy high school student in current day Tokyo. A lot of other students around you are spreading what seems to be rumors about demons potentially walking around a tunnel near your school. After meeting with some of your student friends, you walk back to the train station, but after an unknown accident occurred, the government had to close the train station down. Having no other options but to walk back home, the protagonist walks through Takanawa Tunnel to go back to the school dorm. As you enter the tunnel, you meet with Ichiro Dazai, a fellow student trying to livestream himself going through the rumored tunnel full of demons, when suddenly, an earthquake occurs. A couple of minutes later, you find yourself in what appears to be an alternate world, another Tokyo. As you walk through the sands of this other world, you see familiar objects and locations. Tokyo Tower is visible. The train station that you were in is also visible, but in a deserted state. What is going on? Then suddenly, you find yourself surrounded by demons. Luckily for you, a mysterious figure appears to offer his assistance. As you accept his help against the demons, you fuse with this mysterious figure to become a Nahobino, a chosen being. This mysterious being is actually a proto-fiend, an Aogami that is here to assist the main character through his journey. In typical Shin Megami Tensei fashion, this story seems fairly simple at first but gets tremendously deep later on. The beginning of the game is fairly slow in terms of story since you're dropped into the netherworld without any knowledge of what is going on or where you are. The beginning of the game is fairly slow in terms of story since you're dropped into this world without any knowledge of what's going on or where you are. The Aogami acts as an assistant since he has the knowledge of what appears to be another Tokyo. Your first goal is to learn more about this alternate reality that Aogami calls Dahat or the Netherworld. After learning more about the Netherworld, you meet with Dazai and Yuzuru, fellow students. Then you find your way out of Dahat, back to Tokyo with the assistance of Aogami. Once you are back to the real world, you meet with agents of a massive organization called Bethel. This is where your journey truly begins. The narrative of Shin Megami Tensei V is exceptionally well written. As described in my summary of the story, you are dropped into another world without any knowledge of what is really going on. Finding out loads of information about what Bethel and Dahat is felt especially rewarding. I quickly found myself getting absorbed into the story of SMT5 and didn't want to drop it after starting the game. 
overall, this tale is told brilliantly. Whether it's the fantastic voice acting or the great narration of events through Aogami, I found myself highly invested in the story for every minute of my playthrough. The whole story is paced in a specific way that keeps it interesting at all times and I have nothing negative against it. It's easily the most interesting story that Megaton has to offer in my personal opinion. Most of the story is told through Aogami or an unknown narrator at times and in both occasions they sound extremely good with English voices. The world of Shin Megami Tensei 5, whether it's inside of Dahat or in Tokyo, feels very alive. The world building was expertly crafted with demons roaming around with their own stories to tell that are sometimes linked to the main story. The subquests that are linked to the main story were particularly interesting, but the ones that weren't had some very engrossing events that made them all worth it in the end. Enough with the story because you all need to jump in blind since some of the mid slash late game events will make you feel strong emotions for sure. Let's move on to the gameplay for Shin Megami Tensei 5. Shin Megami Tensei 5 plays and feels great. Exploring the netherworld feels surprisingly great even outside of main areas and dungeons. In previous SMT entries, dungeons were always interesting to explore and it's still the case with 5, but outside of dungeons, most games were a little bland in my opinion. In SMT5, all the different areas in the netherworld are open-ended and diverse. A fairy forest, a destroyed wasteland, a snowy forest, or a teleportation maze like we all know and love, every single area feels alive and is a real pleasure to explore. Running around as a Nahobino is super fun. You can jump and squeeze your way around the large areas of Daha. As you explore, there is a lot of things to do, including searching for Mimans. Mimans are small creatures scattered around the world, and when you find them, you gain glory points, which you can then use in the world of shadows to learn miracles and make your Nahobino more powerful. Both Mimans and Miracles are a big part of the progression system in the game since this is where you increase your skill levels, increase your demons capacity, or your number of skills on yourself and your demons, etc. Mimans are hidden for the most part and it is very fun to explore every nook and cranny of the map to try and find them in the world. Another new element that's new in Shin Megami Tensei 5 is Absis. Absis are mini areas that you will find while exploring new areas in the game. They block your view of certain parts of the map until you complete them. Think of them like some demon domains from SMT4 where you have to beat the Absis boss to unlock the whole map and it also gives you access to new miracles at the same time for your Nahobino. Those were extremely fun to go through as well. When exploring, you will of course encounter demons that are roaming around. What's great with SMT5 is that you see the enemies walking around on field and they are scaled properly to their real size. Sometimes, you'll smack a very small mandrake and at other times, you'll hit a large flying dragon of 10 times your size. Birds are flying in the sky, bikers are running around, and Jack Frost are just casually chilling around. Again, it feels super lively. Demons of a higher level than you will chase you around to try and beat you up, while demons of a lower level will flee at the sight of yourself. It's really great to explore previous areas where demons were hunting you down and now they're fleeing from you. As you find demons, you can either start a battle with them or run away if you see a large powerful foe. Battles are pure pleasure in Shin Megami Tensei 5 since it utilizes the infamous press turn combat system. You need to exploit enemy weaknesses to get more turns and succeed in battle. Veterans will be happy to hear that the game is very challenging on normal, but newcomers should also be glad to see that a lot of difficulty options are available. Destroying a boss after 10 tries feels extremely rewarding and never gets old even after 50 hours of gameplay. The classic press turn is still here but with a new twist, Magatsuhi skills. There is various ways to increase your Magatsuhi meter and when it's full, you get to perform a very powerful Magatsuhi skill that can turn the tides of battle. It seems like a simple mechanic at first, but the strategy level shouldn't be underestimated. Everything in terms of combat is well done and improved upon. With this 5th installment and just like with the story, I have nothing bad to say about it. In battle, you can also talk with demons and try to negotiate with them so they join your party. This is a staple in the SMT series and it's still as hard and as goofy as ever. One of the features of demon negotiation that I really enjoyed is that when you successfully talk a demon into joining your party but he's a higher level than you, he declines. When you meet this demon later on with the right level, he instantly going to remember you and will join your ranks right away, without any negotiation. It's a small addition that I really appreciated. 
Some of the demons will also ask you similar questions, but their answers and conclusions to the discussion aren't the same, which made for some very entertaining moments talking with different species of demons. With those newly acquired demons, you can enter the world of shadows to fuse them together and create some even more powerful demons to fight alongside you. It's as exciting as ever to use different demon combinations to come up with the strongest of all demons. There is also a new feature in SMT5 called Essence Fusion. As you fight enemies and complete subquests, you will gain demon essences containing both the skills and affinities of a demon. When you perform Essence Fusion, you can replicate the affinities and skills of a specific demon on either your Nahobino or other demons. This is by far my favorite new addition to Shin Megami Tensei 5. Your main character has never been this customizable in an SMT game before. Mantras in Digital Devil Saga were my previous favorite feature in that regards, but I'm glad to say that Essence Fusion just topped it, and I never thought I would say that. As you progress to the story of Shin Megami Tensei 5, you have to make some choices that will greatly impact the ending that you will get for the game. I don't want to give too many details in that regards because again, I think you will all enjoy the games more if you go in blind and my suggestion is to make decisions that you would make in real life. It makes the experience more fun in my opinion. Let me just say that the endings are extremely strong and that some of the choices are not easy to make at all. After playing the HD remaster of Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, I'm sure that a lot of you are curious about the technical aspects of Shin Megami Tensei 5. To me, SMT5 is one of the best looking Switch games. The environments and overall aesthetics of the game are gorgeous from start to finish. The character models are looking crisp in cutscenes whether it's the main characters or the demons. Loading times are also very quick for the most part, jumping in and out of battle is almost instantaneous and changing areas is also fairly fast. There isn't a lot of loading times, but the ones that are there aren't problematic, which is great to see since the Switch is fairly weak in terms of specs. The frame rate was good for me for the most part. In battle, it's almost flawless, while well, outside of battle, it depends on the area that you're exploring. Most areas are at a stable 30 frames per second, while certain specific areas are clearly struggling, but I don't think they drop under the 20 frames per seconds. Again, I am not a performance guy and I'm really awful with noticing frame drops, so I really don't think this is too bad, but it may be a little bit rough for you guys, so I suggest watching the gameplay on screen right now to get a better idea of what it looks like to you. A massive standout for this fifth installment is the animations. Most SMT games have some very small and conservative battle animations. In SMT5, some of the animations are glorious and clearly take advantage of Unreal Engine 4. Compared to the previous entries in the series, SMT5 has nothing to be ashamed of, as it's easily the best looking game and could stand next to other modern Atlas titles on other systems. Now you all know me, I cannot review a game without talking about the soundtrack. SMT5 is composed by Ryota Kazuka, the composer behind Shin Megami Tensei 4 and 4 Apocalypse, with the assistance of Toshiki Konichi, composer of a couple of tracks for Persona 5 and Persona 5R, and certain tracks in Shin Megami Tensei 4 as well. SMT5 ranks supreme in terms of music. There is no bad tracks in the whole soundtrack, there is over 10 legendary battle themes, a ton of ambient tracks for all their areas in the game, and even the smaller tracks like the Level Up team or the Demon Negotiation team are incredible. This whole soundtrack was expertly crafted and Shoji Meguro was not joking around when he said that Kazuka is the new face of SMT music during the Reason of Music concert all the way back in March of 2020. Overall, Shin Megami Tensei 5 is easily my game of the year. The wait was all worth it, and the game managed to surpass almost 5 years of build up in terms of expectations, which is crazy to me. I certainly will be looking forward to whatever Team Maniacs has in store for us in the future, but for now, I am glad to say that Shin Megami Tensei 5 ranks supreme and once I beat the game over 5 times, I think it has a strong shot at surpassing its predecessor as my favorite RPG of all time. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for supporting the channel. Without your help, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now and I wouldn't have a review ready prior to launch. This review was a dream come true for me, so thank you for the opportunity. Once again, a special thank you to Atlas West and Adam for their help with this video of mine as well. Thank you all so much for watching this review for Shin Megami Tensei 5. If you enjoyed it, a quick thumbs up really helps and if you're new to the channel and you want more content on anything Shin Megami Tensei, Persona, Atlas and other Japanese RPGs, you are at the right place. Subscribe and ring the notification bell. 
Thank you for watching, y'all. Have a great day, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.